Well, we've got a golf cart, a golf buggy. What else do they call it? Mm. I don't know. Club car. Whatever you want to call it, we've got one of those. And it's currently got a not working electric motor in it. What are we going to do? We're going to swap it. Swap it to what? LS? Yeah. Really? A V8? Yeah. Probably. Do you reckon we are No, I don't think we're not. No, we're not. We're definitely not putting an LS in it. We're putting one of them eBay motors in it. But the first thing we're going to do is get that electric motor out because we'll be mounting the new motor somewhere in there. And we need to get this body off. We've already started removing some of the crap that we don't need. And this, these are some little screws holding this bumper bar. Yeah, I think, they can, I think they can stay on, maybe. More bits of grass. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that's a problem. They're growing there. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's just get started on it, shall we? Yeah, we're going to cut these out. Hey. The bolts, yep, cut the bolts off. Yep. And then hopefully get the body off. Yep. Hopefully get all this green plastic cut. No, just the back part. Yes. Getting it carried away there, mate. Are you ready? Go. Got it? Yep. Move your hands. Get out of the way. We'll stand back. Yep. All right. Now we're going to do the other side. Yep. Good job. Make sure you put chassis stands under it. Why is that? Because never trust hydraulics. Yeah, true. Find excavators, put their booms like that to park. Let's get the dirt cleaned up and then we can get under and have a look. The brooms? Yeah. They're always in the same spot. Just over there. All that mud that's left. Yeah, it makes some mud for me to lay in. That's a good idea. Yeah. I'm just sweeping it out. Good job. All right, now we got this thing up and the ground is clean. Let's have a look at what rusty bolts await us. Well, I know there's some in the wheel arch that look like they hold the body onto the chassis. You can see up in the wheel. Well, there's something going on at the back here. We can see that because there's some rusty bolts going through this back part that used to hold the golf clubs. I reckon this thing's probably been in the ocean, maybe. Yeah. Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Maybe someone crashed it into a pond at the golf course. Yeah. Drunk. Yeah. Had a few beers. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, this one isn't spinning that one. You spin that one? What, why is it spinning this one? Yeah, she's a limo, mate. She does, she does too. Have to take her out on Friday night and do some skids down the industrial area with it. Super hard. Let's see how many of them snap and how many actually come off. These are nylock nuts, so I don't know whether it's going to make it easier or harder. Nylock would probably make it harder than normal nylock, so. Well, nylock nuts might make it easier because there's not as much metal to rust. Yeah. Anyway, that's my theory. My theory. I wouldn't think about it too much there, mate. All right, so those rusty nuts that are under there. There are some bolts obviously hiding underneath this panel. Try this first. Yep, comes off. Like a oh, knife no, through butter. Sure, hey. Like a knife through butter, you reckon? Hot knife, well, probably. A hot knife through butter. Which is even. What sort of butter, you reckon? Soft, what sort of butter are you thinking? Soft melted butter. Soft melted butter. So it's already melted and you've got a hot knife. That would be. Yeah, you just go. Oh! Ugh. Ew. What? No. That looks like the kind of crap you like playing in. Yeah. What have we got? What are they? Well, they look like they might have been socketed button head cap screws, maybe. Yeah. Oh, no, they're star. No, they. They were star. They were Phillips they, head. Yeah, these had a one. Oh, yeah, we already snapped one of those because yeah. it's rusted in. That one's rusted in. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to cut these. No. Uh, well, I'll get you a grinder. <laughs> you used a grinder before? Nah. Well, good time to learn. 
Yeah. All right, I was just joking. Henry's not going to do any grinding. But he's going to drop my phone on the ground and smash it, I think. Is that what you're going to do? No? Nah. You're going to hold it. What are you standing on? A little flag. Yeah, it's safe, I suppose. What do you got? Yeah, uh, yeah, is that a half inch? That looks like 3 8. Anyway, bring it over. Let's try it. You can always walk back. Alright, so there's some nuts holding on the back of these bolts. They go through these guards, which I'm probably maybe not even attached to the thing. Now, do they look at it? Actually, I think this is a waste of time, Henry. I don't think they go through. I think the ones we're after are up there, and that's all that's holding this thing together. Yeah, I know, right? What? I think we need a 12 mil socket, which we already have. I think it's up there. I think, let's have a look. Yeah, look, I'm a little bit of a golf car noob, but I think that's all that's holding it now is those there. Get your big buff head in there and have a look. Yep. All right, so I've got no idea what I'm doing, but apparently these bolts hold it on as well. So I'm just going to undo every single rusted nut that I see and just hope this thing comes apart. What are you doing? 30mm spanner. Chop, chop. A one and a three, right there, I can see it. Look, it's so, you're so close. That's it. Probably don't want the ratchets, man, but sorry to break your little heart there. Mm. That'll do it. Yeah. The things that were holding these safe headrests in were holding this body in, but Dad forgot to undo the that's on this side here. I think you forgot. Anyway, we cut those ones off. Henry reminded me that these also held onto it for whatever reason. That bracket was broken on that side, so we undone those anyway, but the bracket, is, the body is cracked. Uh, the chassis is cracked. You, you forgot this side. And I forgot that side. I think you try and lift it up. There you go, look at that. Didn't forget nothing. You got it, or what? Yeah. Thought you had your wheat bits this morning. Yeah. No, you didn't. What'd you have? Mm, porridge. Yeah. Look at this. What? Look at all that dust. Look at all that dirt. We're gonna get this motor out. This part. We're gonna take the motor off the transmission, whatever that is, diff, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Look at this mess we've got. Axle. You got so much cleaning up to do. Um, it looks like surely they're not the little bolts that hold that whole thing in. What do you reckon? Probably. Electric motors usually have a bit of torque, so maybe there's more to it. But let's start with those. What do you reckon they are? 11s, probably. Probably. 11, 11 millimeter. Is this thing a metric or imperial? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. How big are those tiny little shockies in there? Yeah, it's so small. Even smaller than our mirror ones. Oh, yeah, they don't have some mirror ones that are smaller than that, I think. Oh, no. Maybe. About the same. I reckon we could use those in the mirror. Yeah. That'll work. All right, so that was, in fact, all that was holding it were those couple of little bolts. Obviously, it's not a torque monster. And here's the part we are going to attach a sprocket to. A bigger sprocket that'll run to a smaller sprocket that has a centrifugal clutch, which will go on a motor, petrol motor, which will be here somewhere, I guess. It'd be better if we could put it in the back, but I think... Yeah, it, would be there. it would be there if we could put it here. Yeah, I get yogurt, mango flavoured, chickens and strawberry flavoured. Yeah, he wants it. Yours is pink, okay. Yellow. I'll have to test both of those and see if they're any good. So now I think we'll take this outside, give it a clean, and uh, get work out what motor and stuff we need. I'm taking the chassis stand back out. Hey. 
No, that would be easy now, it'd be even lighter. Look, I lifted it before with the motor. With that, nothing. Too easy. Yep. So this is the internal power of the motor, and that's what was sitting in here, which basically spins over here. Basically spins on one wheel. I don't know why it isn't spinning that one. Seriously. And he's trying to say is that's the internal part of the motor. Which the reason we pulled it out is because that's the output shaft and we want to use that spline as much as we can of it because we want to make it back up to this and put our larger sprocket on the back of this. So that way we don't have to try and make a spline that fits or anything. We can just put this back on here, but with a sprocket on it instead of that big hunk of metal and copper. Anyway, I reckon we Yeah, cut. and these are just wire bits of copper, which pretty much make it weigh a lot. Like, look, I should probably weigh that and see how much it weighs. Where 